Adobe Creative Cloud plugins and integrations. Greetings from Arizona. This is Tony Kuiper. Today I'm going to provide a brief overview of my TK Luminosity Mask plugin. Luminosity masks are a type of mask generated from actual pixel values in the image. In the case of luminosity mask, the pixel value used is luminance. The best way to show you the different luminosity masks is with the plugin. To get started, just click this large button on the main interface. This creates the initial mask preview on screen and opens a new interface on the plugin. You're now looking at a Lights 1 mask, and to keep things orderly, the green outline on the plugin always corresponds to the mask being displayed. As you can see, a luminosity mask is really just a monochrome version of the image, but that's also its superpower. The principle that white reveals and black conceals still applies with this mask. But unlike masks and selections created with Photoshop's normal selection tools, like Magic Wand or Lasso, there are no distinct pure black and pure white areas in this mask and no hard edges. This mask is a series of gray tones that perfectly matches the image's pixel level luminance. What this means is that any adjustments through this mask will be revealed in the image in perfect proportion to the underlying luminance values in the image. And just like there are no hard edges in this mask, there will also be no visible edges with the adjustment. All adjustments will blend perfectly into the image because the mask is perfectly feathered to match the image's luminance pixel for pixel. But this Lights 1 mask is only the start. The plugin makes a whole series of Lights masks. This is Lights 2, Lights 3, and so on, each getting progressively more focused on lighter tones in the image. And lights masks are also just the beginning. There are darks masks that reveal the dark tones in the image. Again, getting progressively more focused on the darkest tones as you move through the series. And finally, there are midtone masks that reveal progressively more midtones in the image as you move through the midtone series. Now I'm going to make a Lights 3 mask again in order to demonstrate two more features. To help find the right mask to match your image, this button at the top switches the mask preview on and off. And there's also a red overlay that can help you see the areas that will be revealed by the mask better. So how do I use luminosity masks? Well, let's say I want to darken the background of this image a bit more, but leave the flowers unchanged. That's a complex selection, so this is a good situation for letting luminosity masks and the plug-in do the hard work. The background is dark in the image, so I'll need a darks mask to properly select it. With the plug-in, I can quickly flip through them. Darks 1, Darks 2, that's better. Darks 3, that's looking pretty good. Darks 4, probably too far, so I'll back up to the Darks 3 mask. With it, the flowers in the image are essentially black in the masks, so they will be concealed from the adjustment. And if I check the red overlay, you can see the flowers have very little red, while the background has a lot. This is exactly what I'm looking for in order to target the background for adjustment. Now it's time to actually use this mask and the bottom row of buttons provides several output options. These first three are adjustment layers, curves, levels, and hue saturation, where the mask preview becomes the layer mask for the adjustment layer. This button loads the mask preview as an active selection, which allows for painting through it, like a stencil, which is the basis for using luminosity mask for burning and dodging. This button saves the mask as a channel on the channels panel, so it can be used again later on. 
and this button applies the mask as a layer mask on a layer already present on the layers panel. For this mask, I'll click the Curves Output button to output the mask preview as a layer mask on a Curves Adjustment layer. And there it is. The plugin also opens the Properties panel. And now I can bend the curve slightly downward to darken the background a bit. As I turn this adjustment layer on and off, it's worth noting that there are no hard edges anywhere as a result of this adjustment. The smooth matching gray values in the mask always ensure seamless blending of the adjustment. Okay, that's how to use luminosity mask with adjustment layers. I'm going to do a quick dodging demo also as this is another area where luminosity masks really shine. Let's say I want to lighten the flowers a bit more without affecting the background. Again, a somewhat complex mask would be needed, but luminosity mask can make it easy. I need a light series mask this time. This is lights one, lights two, that's better, lights three. Okay, that's looking really good. The flowers are perfectly selected and the background is completely concealed. I'll use this button now to load this mask as a selection. The plugin hides the selection edges by default since they get in the way when trying to evaluate the image, but it also provides this red active selection indicator so you know that there is an active selection even if you don't see any marching ants. I've already created a dodge layer here filled with 50% gray paint and set to overlay blend mode. Now I can use a white brush at about 30% opacity to slowly add the amount of brightness I'd like to the flowers by painting on the dodge layer. I don't need to be too careful where I paint because the selection is controlling where the paint gets applied and what gets dodged lighter. As I click the layer on and off, you can see that this adds a nice subtle brightness to the flowers as intended. They almost seem to glow now. And if I alt-click on the Dodge Layers eyeball to turn off the other layers, you can see what an absolutely perfect stencil the luminosity mask provided. The flowers received paint, the background received none, and everything blends perfectly again. So that's a demonstration of the power of luminosity masks. Complex selections, perfect feathering, seamless blending. They're a wonderful tool for exploring and expanding your photographic creativity in Photoshop. I hope you'll install the free TK Luminosity Mask plugin from the Marketplace and give these techniques a try. This is Tony Kuiper. Best wishes for good light.